what up? I'm back. We are back in Alabama. Check your watches. What time is it? <laughs> Little bit after 9 o'clock. Yes, sir. But remember, this whole video started, what, like 10 o'clock last night? Somewhere like that? So, boy, I've been moving. Boy, I've been moving, 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 moving. <laughs> so, my latest debate was, should I stop right here at Mile Mark 158 and grab some, grab some fuel for the love, or should I go on down to uh, Greenville, Alabama, and grab fuel down there? So, we came up the whole plan of, we're going to go to Greenville. That's what we're going to do. That way we stay on on track of our time pace that we're making. Cause we should be back around about 11.30. Even with a stop again fuel in Greenville, we should be back in our little town by 11.30. So that should be cool. Should be no problem there. And then we shut down the truck, start the process all over again. All the way over. I'm a night driver, baby, my way say. Not because I want to be. <laughs> Not because I want to be, man. Uh -uh. I like to drive during the day. At my, at my preference. But with, the, but with the load that I run, these people want it there. It's weird. And what I mean by the weird, a hot load means that they want it there by, um, 7 a.m. Georgia time, and if it's not a hot load, that means they want it there by like 10 a.m. Georgia time. So I personally, I just try to keep it on the hot side, you know what I'm saying? Just go on and get it knocked out, get it on out of the way. Second of all, because you have to go around Atlanta in order to get to Gainesville, you get to avoid a whole bunch of extra nonsense and traffic if you go on and knock it on out. That's the second thing. Third thing is it, it allows me a little bit more time to do my YouTube and do stuff I need to do. Even before, you, even before I decide that I'm going to put some focus in YouTube, it, it this allowed me to, to free up my time, so to speak. Some, some, some time that I need, so to speak. Doing regular business hours. Man. Because if you run some of these loads that we run, like for example, there's one run that goes to Tuscaloosa. Now Tuscaloosa from uh, where you pick it up ain't it really ain't fun. But the way you have to go to get up there in order to maintain the fact that it really ain't that far is like time consuming. It really is like time consuming. So they may want to load up by like they just say seven o'clock in the morning. So by the time you run up there. And get there by seven o'clock in the morning, meaning that you don't left you don't left out around by two or about. Uh oh, I just it off the morning. Meaning that you gonna you uh you left out your house around about two two thirty. Hopefully you was already hooked. Reason why? Cause you gotta go up four or three, so you gotta go through jacks and all that type of stuff, man. Speed zone constantly changing, all of that. And then you go on the, you go on this little two lane road. You have to run this two lane road pretty much. Somewhere between 87 to about 95 miles the rest of the way. So, you know, that takes time. That takes time. You don't know if the little state troop gonna be sitting out or look for the little city sheriff for the little, I mean the little county sheriff or the city cop. You don't know if one of them so they gonna sit there around radar at like three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning. So you know it, that takes a little time. So by the time you get up there and drop it, by the time you get back, it's like 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. They over with. <laughs> the day is over with, buddy. And if you get another one of them loads the following day, that means you need to be shut down. You don't need to be moving. Because of the time that you got to move with it. You know what I'm saying? So, 
I guess with this run, I get like a, I get like the way it's kind of working out. I'm winding up with like two to three hours, well, two to four hours. No, two to three hours. A time that's like freed up time. Now my other time, I, I try to be off my feet. I try to be sitting down off my feet. Now, my brain may be still working because I'm looking at the laptop, uh, looking at charts and stuff like that, but I'm off my feet. And so, upon me being off my feet, it's going to come a certain point that I'm going to shut that laptop down to. That's what I'm doing. That's how I do. I'm trying to get a little bit better. Though. I'm trying to. But, I'll tune back in to let y'all know that we are back in Alabama. And, um, hey, we totally made the freaking leave like a like a, like a, like a, like a 7-8 regal. What? Man, we, hey. Hey, we in this job, man. We in. See, I don't, I got two hours of five minutes before I take my break. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's what I do. I do, hey, that's what I do for real, for real. Now, see, this thing beef with me now. Let me see if I can show you. I was showing y'all just then with how full that truck was in front of me. So, that's why my truck beat me. <laughs> See that? All day! All day! A truck that beats. All freaking day. <laughs> hey, if y'all ever watch my video, some of my video, I'm like, dang, how do they didn't take that? Trust me, it gets on my nerves. It gets on your <laughs> It gets on my nerves, man. For real, for real. And see, a truck like that, see, I got to get closer to it to go ahead and go around it. Because my truck don't have no, no giddy up. <laughs> hey, it don't just pull, nah. It don't, it, hey, it, it don't just pull and get you there. Nah. You got to do all the people, or, or you get in the left lane and you ride the left lane out to catch up with it. But then the problem is you don't want traffic to be coming up behind you. You know what I'm saying? Because now you hold no traffic. So it's kind of like a catch twenty two kind of kind of sort. But yeah, we're gonna head on down to the loves, and when we get to the loves, get fuel and everything. That's going to be my last check-in before... No, that might be my last check-in. That might be my last check-in. I'm sure I will get fuel and everything. I think that will be my last check-in for the day. And we'll be out this job until further notice. <laughs> I be cracking myself up, man. Can y'all tell you? I be cracking myself up. I'm telling you, man. Hey, look. At any time, someone need to fill in for a, 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 a spot in like a birthday party or something. Need to need like some entertainment. Oh, oh, you can book me. I, I got about about, about five about, about, about five solid jokes that I don't even know just yet. They're gonna be fire. They're gonna be fire. <laughs> I'll get to with y'all later on. Alright? Out. Alright guys. We have made it to the truck stop. So we're finna grab some fuel and get ready to get on down the road. Alright. Be back at you in a little while. My bad guys. Hey, I forgot I told y'all I was gonna show y'all how to do this. For some of y'all new truckers out here. Or none.